Hey, I'm David everybody. This is Sports United News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be one of our NFL videos for the NFL fans out there. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy D's widget to help us to keep growing in this new in this new year. Excuse me. I hope you're all in a good 2022 this far in the first month of the year in January. But let's get right into the Bengals game that the Cincinnati Bengals were able to beat the first place in the AFC conference coming into this game with the by Tennessee Titans. The Titans were not able to find any will or a way um, in this game. Henry did fine with 62 yards, 66 yards for Foreman. He did fine. Um, A.J. Brown went absolutely ballistic for 142 yards. And then Julio Jones, yes, that Julio Jones has been a shell of himself this entire season, had 62 yards as well. So those guys did their part. The bugaboo for the Tennessee Titans was Ryan Tannehill did not. Uh, he's had a career resurgence um, in uh, Tennessee, but he just at this point, it might just be the uh, end of the line of really where he's going to be able to get the team to, but who knows, we'll have to see, we'll have to see if they commit to him going forward as well, obviously he's still under contract, but it's going to be interesting to see what they do going forward, because it could be this maybe is as far as a Tannehill guy is going to get you, and you need to have that game changer type quarterback with the running crew and the stud running game that you have now, adding Foreman into with Henry, who had great success after Henry got injured, including today with Henry back, now you got to find the quarterback that can kind of put you over the hump and be that X-factor guy that gets it done, which we know Ryan Tannehill's not that, he's a, he's a guy that's now a basically A-level game manager. I'm not saying he's an overall A-level quarterback, but in terms of a game manager, it's not like he's somebody like Jimmy Garoppolo that just limits turnovers. He has more to him than just typically what Jimmy G does, like missing outside throws like he did last week and throwing key picks and then throwing another key pick. I'll get into that. I did the guy for that game, but in this game, uh, late in the second quarter to allow no points for them, um, it's for his team. It didn't give his team any points, but that's not really typically Ryan Tannehill, but that was Ryan Tannehill today. And that was a big issue for the Tennessee Titans. Normally, he's a guy that really takes care of the ball. And then they run the ball very efficiently, but he does some good things on play action. He misses, mixes in, excuse me, some good plays, which he did to A.J. Brown, of course, and to Julio Jones. But in mixing in those good plays, he limits the turnovers, therefore allowing them to get more points. And if he did that, I personally believe this would have been flipped if there wasn't three interceptions. And also, the Bengals' defense did step up. We have to give them applause for being able to get the three turnovers, but I personally believe if Ryan Tannehill stepped up and played a more clean game like we've seen him play since going to Tennessee, uh, they would have won this game because that's how they win. They win via the running game. They win via him mixing in some good plays and some good uh, shots down the field, and he had solid um, yardage, 220 because of the 142 to Brown and the 62 to Jones especially, so he had his connection with his two main guys. It's just, unfortunately, he made blunderous throws a couple of times, and that led to the Tennessee Titans being the first and foremost reason why they lost this game. Joe Burrow did throw a pick as well, but he throwed a ridiculous amount of little yards at 348, 109, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, 96, Uzoma, 71, and Mixon, even 51 receiving yards. Well, on top of that, Mixon at 54 yards rushing, so Joe Mixon was definitely a player of the game. Um, for the Cincinnati Bengals, Jamar Chase is definitely a player of the game for the Cincinnati Bengals as well, who made a key catch at the end of the game there to get them into field goal range, where Evan McPherson quote said, well, I guess we're going to the AFC Championship, so you know that kid has confidence as he hit the field goal over 50 yards to win the game for the Cincinnati Bengals. This was a game that Joe Burrow, I would assume he's going to say he would want to play better, even though he had the yardage and numbers like that. He threw a pick in this game, but will want to overall maybe be able to pounce on some of the turnovers and kind of supplant um, the, their name uh, on the game a little bit earlier if you're the Cincinnati Bengals and not have to win late by the field goal because you had more ample opportunities with the turnovers that they didn't take advantage of, as this was obviously a very defensive game with 16-16. They win 19-16. Evan McPherson also has to be a player of the game with how good he stepped up as a field goal kicker. Joe Burrow for leading them down the field. Jamar Chase, they got a lot of guys that really stepped up on that team. Joe Mixon as well. T. Higgins as well. But in a losing effort, the guys that had a great going out game that did all they could were A.J. Brown, Foreman, Henry in his first game back. Did good. And Julio Jones also stepping up in the playoffs. You actually got more of what you were hoping to see more throughout the season of Julio Jones in this playoff game. So those guys did their things. 
The problem is Ryan Tannehill play more like we see Jimmy Garoppolo and at times um guys like Baker Mayfield a uh, struggle who are more the, that those style of game managers that sometimes tend to just make the wrong throw at the worst time and throw picks like that where since going to Tennessee, Tannehill's really corrected that and hasn't had that issue, but it came back to fruition today where it reminded you more of the way he played with the Dolphins, and unfortunately that led to the lose, the loss um, of the Tennessee Titans. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a recap of the Titans and Bengals defensive game that Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Joe Mixon, and also, of course, Evan McPherson, plus T. Higgins were able to carry them to the win, as well as Azuma, who had a very good game as well. And the Tennessee Titans had good efforts from a couple cats that I mentioned, but unfortunately was not able to get them the W. Peace out, everybody. Please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget.